Hi, this is Dwyer from GamblersAdvisory.com here to comment on tonight's Bantamweight Championship matchup between champion Joseph Agbeko, who sports a knockout percentage of greater than 81%, and Vic Darchinian, the raging bull who's moving up in weight to get to 118. He sports a knockout ratio of greater than 76%. The bet I'm recommending that you take is the under in the fight. Somebody is going to get stopped. The over-under is nine and a half rounds. And surprisingly, as of this video, you can actually get that at a very reasonable minus 130. I think it's too dangerous to this fight to pick a winner because, quite frankly, both guys are very sloppy defensively. Both guys can get hit, and both guys are headhunters. So I believe that the smart play here, the way to make your money, and it is an unhedged position, is to simply take the under in the fight. If you're concerned about the nine and a half round limitation, then depending on the prop bet odds, you can take both fighters to win by knockout. What I don't see happening is this fight going the distance. I believe the only reason you're getting the very reasonable minus 130 for the uh, 9.5 over-under, the under on that, is because Joseph Agbeko went the distance in his last fight against William Gonzalez and Jorge Arce took Vic Darchinian 11 rounds in Darchinian's last fight. I don't see that happening here. I believe that um, Agbeko loops his punches, which is a problem. So Darchinian, who throws shorter punches, will certainly land some heavy shots on Agbeko. I also feel, too, that Darchinian is untested at bantamweight. Understand, the three-pound weight gain is very significant when you're talking about 118 pounds. And Agbeko actually is a very hard hitter for 118 pounds. Also, Agbeko's record looks a bit inflated. How inflated? As recently as 2007, he fought a guy whose record was 0 and 1. By the way, the fight he had before that, he fought a guy who had had a grand total of five fights and had lost two of them. So Agbeko's record is inflated. Darchinian is a legitimate hard hitter. Both of these guys are. I believe it's going to be hit or be hit. I'm not expecting this fight to make it to the 10th round. Certainly not the midway point of the 10th round. My recommendation is that you take the minus 130. By the way, the fight is in Sunrise, Florida. Neither of these fighters should have a... Uh, hometown advantage. Let me also point out, too, that people should not get too caught up in the pre-fight hype. I'm sure both of these guys understand and recognize that either of them could get knocked out. I do feel that the odds are a little bit skewed. I noticed that you could get a plus 190 taking it back up. Um, I do view Victor Chinian as the more skilled fighter. Uh, Agbeko seems to rely a bit too much on hooks for my taste. Uh, that said, however, there is risk with Dartinian because he's moving up in weight for the fight. So I would not pick a winner in this fight. I believe if they're going to give you a minus 130 on the under, I would take the under 9.5 rounds. And for prop betters, I do feel that there is a distinct possibility that this fight ends in the 4th, 5th, 6th, or 7th rounds, if you're getting significant odds, and I'm talking about greater than 10 to 1, and if you want to experiment with a few dollars, you may want to take both fighters to win by knockout in the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th rounds. Um, I think it's going to get uh, these guys um, a few rounds to get started. I certainly see someone hitting the canvas in this fight. And I'm fully aware of the fact that Darchinian's only lost once and Execo's one loss is very questionable. It looks like he got jobbed in that one. However, I don't think either fighter has faced 
the kind of power in an opponent that he's going to face tonight. And um, I think someone is going to get stopped in this fight. Let us know what you think. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Protect yourself at all times. And remember, when you bet, always use your head. Thanks for stopping by.